So first we have to design the bat battery detail, right? So here I'm going to use the battery size, right? 10 into 12 battery. So 12 volt battery with the 10 series connection. So first we have to design the converter. Okay. So here I'm going to provide 10 into 12. So output voltage that means frequency of this uh, converter is bidirectional converter is 10 kilohertz. And then uh, output voltage is 220. So this is IOT max. And then this is ripple inductor current, ripple voltage. So this is a calculation for inductor capacitance R and D. Okay. So execute this one. So after executing this one, you will get the inductor value, capacitance value load resistance maximum and duty cycle okay so these are the inductor and capacitor value for that uh, bidirectional converter okay so here you can see that so this is a bidirectional converter so here i am choosing battery 10 into 12 and then capacity is uh, 40 h Okay, the initial state of charge is 50 percent each. Okay, and then this is a capacitor across that uh, battery. So, this is a rating we are taking same value, right? Nine point this one, and the inductor value is 0 0.0665. So, same value we are going to take in here 0 0.0655. And then the two switches, okay. And then load capacitor that means filter at, uh, across that capacity that means load. So, same way we are going to consider. And then this is uh, resistance, resistive load, right? DC load. So, here I am going to take uh, 2 into 48, right? So, I am going to take 50 percentage of the maximum load, okay and then uh, here i am going to measure the voltage and the current of the uh, load okay so by using this multimeter right so this is multimeter so i am clicking this one you will get the measurement here so you can click and select this one here okay and then the measurement available here i am going to take uh, this is two output from that uh, that means two detail from that uh, multimeter one is load voltage and the uh, load current and uh, here I'm, we are multiplying with the the voltage and current multiplied together so we will get the uh, power okay so here we are going to measure the load voltage current and then power and also i am using that uh, go to block so i am going to take this v load and then this v load is compared with the reference okay to 220 and then process via pa controller so here we are going to fix the pa controller value is 0 0.001 and 0 0.1 and then uh, the feed volume generated is switching frequency is 10,000. okay so this is going to be given to here and then the inverted pulse, pulse going to be given to here right so it going to be maintained the voltage across this load is equal to 220 okay so next you have to design the lnc value for a solar pv system okay and then here you can see that here uh, we are taking one parallel string and a four series string okay and the rating of single panel is 250 watts and the maximum voltage is 30.7 the maximum current is 8.15 okay so when i'm going to plot the graph okay okay, okay once again 
I'm going to I'm plan to grab okay. So here you can see that so the maximum power is around thousand for thousand watt per meter square, so five hundred for a uh, five hundred watt per meter square. So it will be degrees according with the irradiation. So the rating will be thousand right two fifteen to four. Voltage will be thirty point seven right. So next you have to design L C and C value for that. Uh, solar pv side converter okay that will boost converter so here i am going to mention the voltage is 4 into 30.7 so remaining things same right switching frequency output voltage are same and then execute this one so after executing this one right we are getting this value right So after executing this value, so you are getting this value, so you can use this value. So this is a minimum requirement. And then paste it here. And then uh, you can use this value here. And then here, okay. So after that you have to measure the PV panel parameter that means PV voltage and current and then uh, before we are going to implement the time piece controller we go for training process so for that go to this PV model so this is a PV model standard equation for PV model so we have to specify the the rating of that single panel okay and then you have to generate the thousand sample with the temperature range in between 15 to 13 5 and then uh, the irradiation is is in between 0 to 1000 so we have to generate the temperature randomly here and the irradiation assembly and then you have to calculate IMP, VMP and PMP so there are four panel connected in series so that's why I am going to take output equal to 4 into VMP and then data we are collecting for training is uh, irradiation, temperature and output right just you have to execute this one so after executing this one you will get the data here okay so inputs are irradiation temperature the output will be voltage so next type and fish edit and then load the data data okay and then click ok so this is the collected data so next is generate piece okay so i'm going to fix the number of membership function for inputs are 5 5 and the output will be linear and then I am going to take number of filtration is 100 I am going to execute this one so next you have to test the Training. So now you can see the red color is a trend data and the blue color is collected data. So both are superimposed each other. So that train time is uh, having a similar response of the collected data. So next to go to save the file. So go to export and then save us test not test. You have to save us in one. Okay. So after saving this one. So you have to feed the data here. Here you have to feed the data that uh, trained network. Okay. So next you have to give the input for this will be equal to irradiation temperature. Output will be voltage. Set point be compared with the PV voltage and process wave PV PA controller. So PA controller data is going to be considered as one one. 
and then is process via pdvolume generated 10 kilohertz so it will generate the pulse for this uh, gpt okay so here we are measuring the pv panel voltage current and power okay so here i am generate the different irradiation condition so initially thousand after point two is 800 and then 600 and then 400 and then 200 right so for every 0.2 seconds our temperature maintained at 25 degrees celsius so next you have to test the model so for 1000 watts per meter square we are getting radiation is that means for 1000 radiation the power will be 1000 watts watts for 800 the power will be 800 for uh, 600 the power will be 600 for 400 power will be 400 and then for 200 the power will be 200 right so this is uh, pv voltage pv current pv power so now we can see that so <coughs> Uh, this is load voltage maintained around 220 volt right and then this is load current so load current also maintained around uh, 2.2 amps so this is load power okay so load power continuously having the power from the sources battery and uh, solar pv sources according with the irradiation condition so initially you can see that up to 0.6 right so the soc of the battery is increasing right that means charging mode right so during charging mode you can see the the battery current is negative so battery current is negative means it is in charging mode so after that what happened that means after 0.6 second the power of the solar pv is decreases to less than 500 so during that time what will be happen uh, we need to supply the power uh, to the load right so for that uh, battery going to be uh, discharging mode right now after 0.6 is going to charging mode and also you can see the current of the battery is positive okay so this is because of that the solar pv or uh, solar pv is having less than 500 so because we need a 500 watts right so load that mean dc load is 500 watt so we need to supply 500 watts power to the dc load so because of decreasing that uh, solar pv the battery comes to here to supply the power to the dc load so this is the operation of that uh, this system okay thank you